In this video, I'm gonna show you 5 best camera drones in 2020. These are the best drones for aerial photography, some of the best camera drones for video too. All the links to find the best prices on all the products will be below in this video description. Keep watching now, this is DJI Mavic 2 Zoom and DJI Mavic 2 Pro. The all-round best drone for photography. DJI's Mavic Pro changed what was possible with the best camera drones back in 2016, making it possible to fold and carry a decent quality lens without being overly heavy or bulky. It could capture 4K, at a maximum of 24 fps, and introduce a handy fold-out controller that seemed to have more in common with the PlayStation than bulky radio controllers from their hobby era. By 2020 the folding Mavic series is split into four. From cheapest to most expensive that's the Mavic Mini, Mavic Air 2, Mavic 2 Zoom and Mavic 2 Pro. The final two have identical airframes but radically different camera units. The Zoom is our favorite because it features a 2x optical zoom lens, with an effective focal length range of 24 to 48 mm. This gives real creative options in terms of lens compression. This is highlighted by the drone's unique feature, the Dolly Zoom Quick Shot, in which the aircraft simulates the Hitchcock classic camera move. There is a price to pay though, the zoom sits in front of a half.312 megapixel camera which tops out at ISO 3200. Even at launch this was a little disappointing, though 4K video at up to 30 fps and 100 mbps are great quality, and DJI's app provides a great balance of functionality and power. The only real complaint about the Mavic 2 is the lack of 60 fps at 4K and the fact the side sensors don't really do much except give a false sense of security. DJI Mavic 2 Pro is a brilliant camera in a quality package. 2020 saw the arrival of the Mavic Air 2 with a host of improvements to the Mavic line which make the Mavic 2 Pro more of a speciality aircraft than before, but whichever way you look at it the stills and, in lower light, the video remain unbeaten without spending a good amount more and throwing portability out of the window. Given DJI's ownership of Hasselblad the camera branding might be seen as a gimmick. The 20 megapixel stills from the 1 inch sensor are unquestionably far better quality than those from smaller sensors, including the Mavic 2 zoom. Manual controls allow up to 128,000 ISO to be selected and video can be output in real 10 bit great for pro color grading, and an HDR, and there is f slash 2.8 f slash 11 aperture. Each pixel on the sensor is still bigger than on all but the Evo 2 Pro from this list. So low light stills and video look gorgeous, and the higher detail is also useful for surveyors and 3D mapping. Both of which the Mavic handles easily thanks to integration with drone deploy, in fairness similar integration is available with other drones. The range of automated flight modes in the DJI drones, like hyperlapse, time lapse, are all well implemented and easy to learn, making the Mavics very effective creative tools when operated alone. Hot Level 2 With 8K video, this might be more than you need. Like the Mavic 2. Hot's second level is offered with different camera choices. In theory at least. Supply has been erratic in its early months. But then 2020 hasn't been an easy year. Both are built around a heavy, rugged looking, but average feeling, orange airframe which ins choose sleek consumer friendly design for simple practicality. It's a bit chunkier than the Mavics, but it can fly for longer and is bigger unfolded. While Otl Explorer, its partner app, lacks some of the polish of DJI's equivalents. It does bring all the tracking options you might want. Moreover it has the huge advantage of being optional. There is a 3.3 inch OLED screen in the remote meaning you can fly without connecting the phone at all. Another big plus is that the drone has omnidirectional collision sensors which it uses in normal fight. The Mavic 2 has side sensors, but only uses them in some automatic modes. Intended for professional work, the drone also lacks DJI's big brother Geofencing. 
So far the lesser 8K model is the one widely available, with the 6K Pro model following and a dual infrared enabled version to come. Why is 8K lesser? In fact it uses the same Sony IMX586 half-inch imaging chip as featured in the Mavic Air 2, while the 6K Pro sports IMX383 one-inch sensor, that's four times the area, and can output 10-bit footage in the variable aperture. It's also worth noting that 8K is limited to 25 FPS, 6K to 50 FPS and 4K to 60 FPS. Power Vision Power Agex Wizard Best Waterproof Drone and Best AI Camera Drone Power Vision is certainly an inventive company, as its awards shelf will testament, and it has been making underwater drones as long as flying once. So the Power Agex shouldn't have come as a surprise, but it did. Their original Power Ag was a stunning product, yet rather than revising it, Power Vision opted to go back to the drawing board. They created an altogether new egg which could be used as a drone, a handheld or tripod mounted camcorder making use of the gimbal for stability and AI for subject tracking, and, in the optional wizard kit, a beach ready drone which can land on water or fly in the rain. Photographers will rightly worry that the 4K camera doesn't have as big a sensor as, for example, the Mavic, but in good light it's capable of 60 FPS, double the frame rate of the DJI making it great for. Its adaptability means its arms are completely removable but, thanks to the folding props, setup takes no longer than a DJI Phantom. The AI camera mode is good, but it would really benefit from a record button like a traditional camcorder, you need to use the app. The waterproof mode means attaching a housing and landing gear which does take a minute or two, and covers the forward facing collision and object tracking sensors but there is nothing on the market that can touch it so it's hardly something to complain about. This is the drone that GoPro should have made. DJI Mavic Mini The best drone for the beginner With the original Mavic in 2016, DJI created a new category of folding prosumer drone, small and light enough to take nearly anywhere but with a good camera. Back then the limit was technology, now a new artificial dividing line has been added by regulation. Most of the major markets for drones, China, USA, UK and more, now require the registration, for a modest fee, of any drone weighing more than 250 grams, 8.8 .8 ounces. A simple web visit will secure you approval to fly a larger aircraft, but those new two drones, or looking to try the experience with minimal fuss, are understandably reluctant. Unwilling to see their market stop growing, DJI's R&D team have performed miracles to shave as much weight as possible from their existing designs, and have managed to trim the price at the same time. The key sacrifice has been video quality, the Mavic Mini can only capture at 2.7K, about half the number of pixels is 4K, and at 40 Mbps, so the video has slightly more compression artifacts than that from a Mavic 2 zoom, for example. It has also dispensed with the collision sensing systems on its bigger brothers. These sacrifices mean lighter computing components on board, as well as the benefits from the overall miniaturization. The latest firmware update enables manual exposure on the Mavic Mini. The drone nonetheless has a 3-axis camera stabilization gimbal, meaning footage looks super smooth and DJI's usual software has received a tidy up to make it more vlogger, Instagrammer friendly, so this can easily become your compact fly cam, as DJI's marketing team are desperate for you to call it. It features quick shots dash pre-programmed selfie friendly clips, so you can get amazing shots without too great a learning curve. The resolution isn't an issue for online sharing, though professionals will want to look a little further up the chain for their work, but will still want one of these in their bag when they're traveling. At 12 megapixels, stills are broadly similar to a decent phone, but of course from rather more interesting angles. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video.
so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the actionable drones techniques I'm about to share with you.